But yeah, speaking of a new Batman, I gotta say that movie was kind of, kind of not let amazing. Down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it did not uh, live up to Too what hyped. a lot of people said about it, in my opinion. No, sir. Like oh. for Riddler was uh. Too insetty for your taste. Yeah, he, w <laughs> he was. <be> <laughs> That's one way to put it for sure. He was basically an incel, and like at first, fair character, you know, like it's not amazing in my opinion, but you know, fair enough. Yeah. And at least his motives were logical to his character. Like he wanted to. It's bring post corruption. Out, yeah, post corruption, and go against all the corrupted politicians. Yeah, like honestly, at first, like okay, like he's maybe not going about it the way he should by killing everyone and you know just leaving their corpses right there. Yeah, but at but, least like, he has a fair good. motive, like. So yeah, like it's definitely like a morally ambiguous character at first. And then, like, he completely goes off his rocker. He's like, okay, so I want to save the, the city of Gotham by exposing the corruption. Then he's like, okay, um, Bruce Wayne has to die for the sin of his father. And they're like, what? That makes no sense to that character. We're way past that line of thinking, bro. Society yeah, it, evolved. It's like, why would you want to punish someone for what his parents did? And then at the end, he's like, uh, you know what? I'm gonna flood the whole city and kill everyone. Yeah, no, that part I don't like. I don't see how that played into anything he right? was working towards. Like at first, he's like, "I'm gonna help the people by exposing the corruption," and by the end, he's like, "Okay, I'm killing everyone." Yeah, no, this that, whole city can flood and die. That part I just can't like reconcile with anything else about the movie. Yeah, no, for for sure. Like definitely, the Riddler's character slowly but surely. Unraveled into complete nothingness. He became a riddle. I, I I feel like he more like became a pure incel. Like he he went. You know what? I'm going pure incel style over here. Hey, at least he didn't say he hates all women. That's true. He just he hates equally, all humans. He equally hated all the people of Gotham. Exactly. They all deserve to die for some undisclosed reason. Yeah, Except no. his fellow incels who were to help him shoot everyone in the yeah, no, those people stadium. Were, those people were super cool as well. Yeah, but no, even the aesthetic of a movie just pure dirt, basically. Yeah, yeah, I feel like some shots it worked decently well. But for a lot of a movie, it's like, look, color doesn't mean that it's not good. You know, it's just like some color is, is nice. Yeah, no. Oh, it's yeah, I'm pretty sure you need puzzle, to, yeah. to put coops. But yeah, like the it was way too somber. Like I understand they wanted like a dark, gritty movie, but I don't think that just having a pure dark color palette is the, the way to go. No. Oh, let's go. It's another one of these boxes. What, what the, the heck? heck? <laughs> oh, we're yeah, we're some of his guests. Oh, this is his castle. Oh, let's go. Could you imagine owning a castle and just the so Wow, they all use the same trick. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's freaking insane. Oh my god. How dare they... And he says yes. Or not? What What does he mean, or not? <laughs> oh, okay. This, this guy completely went off script. This man is clowning on everyone. Wow. And then you had Mario saying yes when he got called, called a legendary hero. I That's mean, to be fair, if I was Mario and someone was like, you're probably some kind of legendary hero, I'd say, yeah, you know, I'm... I probably am. Fair enough. He he kind of is. Except to everyone in this game who doesn't even know who Mario is. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> he's a legendary hero in another part of the world. You know, and uh... there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> what? No, nah, ridiculous. He would it, never. Yeah, Mario had a bad experience uh, about an hour ago. You right know, right in a box of crystal. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, to be fair, he isn't waiting in a boss. He's, yeah, he's a strapped stuck. in it. Exactly. It's very different. Nah, he's not a real slime ball. Hey, that's good, though. He's vouching for his own character. I mean, it should be obvious. I mean, kind of is, right? It's like, maybe he'll help you out if he, you help him out. Uh, maybe. No, we'll, we'll do it. You're, I'm sure he's a stand-up guy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, right? So, like, who else would uh, lock him in a box? I mean, he, he would never be a slime ball. No. 
Or do I have to try to remember to come back for these things if we want to get some extra content? Yeah. Honestly, I, f I feel like the game gives us quite a lot of content uh, right off the bat. That's true. I wonder who created this room. Yeah, it's, uh... I Damn, the timer feels completely out of place. It does. Oh, no. Like, the aesthetic of this timer seems completely different. Yeah, I mean, it's a very modern thing, looking like something you'd actually see on an uh, yeah, like it's analog a clock. Complete, uh, it's a, isn't it digital? You're right, digital. Yeah, I think analog, analog is, is the hands yeah. and all. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, like, it looks like a legit digital clock. Yeah. And it, it's kind of weird they went that way. It's also odd to me, people who can't read the analog. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised at that stuff. Like, a few things you kind of just take for granted when you can do them. Exactly, but then you learn. And it's like swimming, right? We talked about this recently. Yeah, no, I remember we talked about it. Like, to us, every time we see people, we're like... Like, we don't think it. We're not weird. And it's like, yeah, I think this person can swim. Yeah, but the, like, automatic assumption is this person, if thrown in a lake, this person wants to drown. Yeah, like, it, I kind of just assume everyone knows how to swim. And hearing that some people can't really surprises me. Yeah. Well, I think we were talking about it when we watched the uh, Suicide Squad, right? Because uh, she uh, can't swim hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. It was when Harley Quinn says that she couldn't swim and it kind of Come on, us bro. Of that. I've been pressing and holding her for so goddamn <laughs> long. Like, come on. I mean, come on, you idiot. Hold it. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> Oh, what a guy. Hey, Mario's going from being called uh, Tubby to uh, skinny. skinny. Like, Damn, poor guy cannot catch a break. Yeah, no, he like he can't please anyone this time around. Insulted left and right for completely different things. Yeah. Oh, you think this is his father, no? Yeah, but, no, 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 no. His dad no. has uh, cool shoes. Interesting, okay. I mean, he, he got his sense of style from somewhere, you know? That's true. Oh, I guess that one was alive. Isn't it kind of weird for Koopas to know that dry bones exist? Uh, I'd be shook. Because I'd be like, okay, so am I about to become a skeleton? Yeah, it's like when I die, am I gonna be one of them? Hopefully not, right? It has to be really weird to live in a world where you know that sometimes your people comes back as skeletons. Yeah, I feel like it's not info I'd like to have uh, anywhere stored in my brain. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I would be happy to forget it. Exactly. Okay, let's do this. Where's it go? But yeah, speaking of Suicide Squad, oh my god, what a horrible movie. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait to watch. Is there a second one and then a reboot? No, no, no. I think we saw that the quote unquote second one was like an animated movie instead. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So yes, there is technically like a weird second one thing, but, but it's not really a second one. It's. And then, yeah, they rebooted it with uh, The Suicide Squad. Well, hey, Red is going to have to watch of a reboot. I mean, we'll have to watch it just to know uh, how bad Ge it is. Exactly. I oh. mean, to be fair, it can be as bad as Morbius, right? No, Morbius is uh, something else. So, it's definitely uh, a horrible movie. Yeah, in terms of superhero movies, that one is... Uh, Probably one of the worst. Yes, sir. If okay. not the worst, somehow. I'm not sure where this key is. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's kind of weird to think of, like, some things we are so used to being being able to do. Mm -hmm, we just Thinking, take it oh, for yeah, granted. Some, some other people can't do it. Like, reading in an analog clock, it's so easy. And, like, we're so used to it from, like, a young age, some of us. Thinking, oh, some people just never learned it. Yeah, I'd be curious to know the stats, like, by age. As yeah. in, more like, to generations, I mean, rather than age. Yeah, fair enough to see, like, okay, like... This generation kind of stopped actually caring about it. Well, it's not even they stopped caring. It's yeah, we it's, stopped. It, it's just it became them. obsolete. Like they stopped teaching it to them because it wasn't really a quote-unquote skill worth learning. Exactly. It's like people who kept saying you need to learn cursive. It's such a worthless skill. Oh my god, I'm so surprised that like it's still stuck around for so. Like I wonder if today kids still have to learn cursive. I'd be surprised if they didn't, just because uh, the curriculum is, uh, I, if I had to bet, not updated that quickly. Yeah, they probably don't really care about updating it every exactly. year. It's like every 20 year, let's see, did things change? Not too much, alright, we can probably write it for another 
10, 20, you know? Yeah, plus, I mean, it's probably, you know, people who are a bit out of touch who actually write the curriculum. Yeah, and they're like, no, 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 cursive. I learned cursive exactly. and it's good. But I still use cursive. Everyone's going, what? It's like, yeah, okay, what? Why? Don't you use a computer? Uh, no, I actually write stuff and then give it to my secretary who has to write it on the computer. Yeah, and she, she usually says, like, God damn, I hate cursive at garbage writing. <laughs> um, and I always chuckle to myself. I say, ah, ha, ha. cursive dumb, is good. Dumb secretary. You kids these days. Yeah, yeah. That's why we have to keep uh, teaching cursive. I mean, hey, honestly, they should just teach, like, how to write legibly. Yeah, no, that's true. Because some people, like, whether write cursive or not, you just cannot read what they write at all. Yeah, no. I had a friend who was in uh, pharmacology, basically. Yeah. And they had, like, in their tests, they had to be able to read handwritten notes of, like, different prescriptions. No, wait, like, there's a they actually have to... They actually have to be able to read, like, doctor's oh handwriting. God. I was shook. He showed oh me the studying materials. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it's liter literally written, like handwritten and like they have to be able to recognize the handwriting that is so sad yeah it's like ridiculous like holy crap the fact that doctors write so bad they actually like get pharmacy school for like now nah, you know what this We're is have like to test a them on that. Oil skill yeah it's, it's like a skill you absolutely have to learn or else you'll get a some kind of prescription and you'll have no clue what to give a person yeah no honestly when he showed me that i was dying Oh, that is weird. I was laughing my ass off. But yeah, I feel like I, I got kind of decent at reading bad handwriting. Because, like, in high school, I would always copy other people's homework. Fair enough. But... And I had some friends who wrote, like, complete shit. Yeah, but, I mean, like, I, you saw a few days back when I showed you uh, <laughs> yeah, no, my no. boss's handwriting. Like, there are definitely some, uh, some handwritings I still cannot read at all. Yeah, they just don't try at that point. They're yeah, probably proud like, of it, probably. There's trying and being crap and, you know, genuinely just clowning on people and writing complete garbage. And exactly. Like, yeah, you know what? That's, um... So, so you know, they'll be able to read. Who cares? And if they can't, well, Lamal. It's like, who cares? Especially when you're writing comments to someone knowing full what he has to read it. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I, I wrote this not for myself, but for someone else. Exactly. It's like, come on, bro. Like, make an effort. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Show some trace of respect. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like if you're writing for yourself, who cares? You know, you write however you want. Yeah. But if you're writing for someone else, like, put some effort to show... Ah, oh, there she is. But yeah, put some effort to, sh you know, actually let the person act properly read what you were trying to communicate and not force them to come see you and be like, actually, what what did you mean with that? Absolutely. But it's just, like, it's insane. Hey, at least we're gonna have her soon as a... Well, Part soon. Smith. I don't know when we, you can actually get her, but... I think relatively early on. I completely, uh... Is that, is that legal? Uh, come on, bro. She just oh. stole stuff. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah, we already have it. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Full of romance. Hey, you know, that's <laughs> one way to say it. Dude, this guy's weird. Yeah. Cool, he, you're kind of being weird, my guy. Like He's uh, a tree who would tree on Drumbella if she wasn't uh, protected yeah. by Mario. Or, you know, if he, he was a little less uh, timid. True. Hey, sometimes being timid is a good thing. Yeah. It prevents you from being a tree. Who knows, maybe he's the one who took the ball shrinking pills. <laughs> Maybe Koops was fed of a ball shrinking pills his whole life. Savage. Okay. Could you imagine actually being Mario up in the rafters? Yeah, I would be pretty- at the same time you're made out of paper in that world. Hey, I'd still be afraid. Yes, but if, I mean he has no fall damage. That's true. So I guess if like from as young as you are like you're used to being able to fall without ever being hurt. That's Heights true, and though. falling, you would probably never really develop any fear from them. Yeah, that would change your outstretch, huh? Yeah. Is there anything down there? 
But we might not want to check it out. Exactly, huh? right? Honestly, who cares? We'd have to cut that out and edit. Yeah. But then we'd still have to go through that and, you know. Yeah, it's great. Like, when you're watching YouTube, you're like, oh, do it, do it. Yeah, you're exactly. always like, oh, come on, dude, dude. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Haha. And then it skips and you're like, oh, I'm so glad they did it. But, well, you're uh, not even so glad they did it. You're just like, cool. Yeah, you're right. Okay, good. You don't even realize when they do it. It's just when they don't, you go, wow, cowards. Yeah, it's like, wow, you didn't even do it. Speaking of YouTube, did you ever see in the comment section, uh, sometimes there's like automatic translate to English or whatever language you're on? Okay. Oh, I, and I don't know why they do it, but sometimes I guess for algorithm or whatever sucks a lot, right? Yeah, I'd love this view back there of a castle. It's a lot of death. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I kind of wish I could do that in an animation. Oh, that's true. This is basically exactly it, right? Yeah, that's basically what I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> hey, we're going to give you some extra shots right me. here. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of different because we actually have like the 3D world. Yeah, they do. So we build the asset and I'm, I'm just... I have to draw every frame to... Oh, well, the castle is huge. There's a whole other side to it. God damn. Because this isn't where we came from. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a really big castle. Yeah. So yeah, you were saying about the oh yeah, yeah, the, the YouTube uh, automated translate thing. Mm -hmm. I love it so much because so often it just like someone writes ha 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 or something like that. Yeah, and YouTube's gonna be like translate to English or whatever. Okay. And every time I'm like, you know what? Sure. I know exactly what's written. You know, yeah, like, of I course. know what they wrote, but sure, uh, hit me up. And it's almost always exactly the same. Hey, at least I thought it would be translated so to ja ja ja. No, no, no. In Spanish, but, basically. But I find it incredible that sometimes, like, oh, there's Luigi. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That a lot of the times, they, it's the same thing. You would expect, like, their algorithm to be able to say, okay, look, if we translate to the same thing, we remove a but. Yeah, you'd think so, right? Like, you'd think they, they would program a quick load check. Okay, if A equal B, remove a but. Take it out. But no, they, they decided to keep it, I guess, and uh... I mean, you're right, but that seems like a very simple chat, right? Yeah, but who knows, maybe coding-wise it's way harder than what we were making it to be. Maybe, or maybe they just didn't even think about it, they just implemented it, and you know, it's YouTube. Yeah, no. So, who'd be too surprised, right? We like you, YouTube, you know, we, we don't want to be too harsh, you know, hopefully you're... Please monetize yeah, us. Yeah, please, please allow us to make money <laughs> off of you, but... You know, don't don't take it too personally when we say uh that your translating system is kinda whack. It's it's it comes from a place of love. Exactly. 